Good morning. Uh, I'm Dr. Luciano Maidan. I'm an interventional neurologist, a vascular neurologist, and director of the Comprehensive Stroke Center of the Dignity Health Neurological Institute. A stroke means an abrupt, uh, a sudden cutoff of the flow of blood to certain parts of the brain. And if it's long enough, if it's more than five to six minutes, it can produce irreversible damage to that particular part of the brain. Major risk factor for stroke are hypertension, also called the silent killer. Uh, it's very prevalent in the general population. Uh, high cholesterol uh, due to the diet or certain genetic predispositions. Uh, diabetes is becoming more prevalent due to increase in the body weight of the general uh, population and because of the diet. Uh, smoking uh, increases uh, three to four times the chances uh, of a stroke. Obstructive sleep apnea, it's underdiagnosed uh, and it increases as an independent risk factor to increase the chances of a stroke. The incidence of stroke increases and it's more prevalent in the uh, you know, seventh, eighth decade. However, stroke in young adult is uh, something that we see more and more uh, due to you know, dietary changes, prevalence of high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol. Stroke can affect almost any age. We have to be very uh, mindful of the, the risk factor, the so-called modifiable risk factor. Uh, be very mindful of your diet. Uh, the only one of the best research uh, research diets are the so-called Mediterranean diet, where there is a good um, mixture of uh, vegetables and nuts and good oils like olive oil, uh, fish. If you if you need to consume. Um, meat, exercise, uh, the 30 minute moderate intensity, uh, five to six days a week. Um, don't smoke, alcohol consumption, it's um, just drink in moderation and um, try to have a positive attitude uh, on life. It's, you know, like in other branches of medicine, there is a very close connection between the the, the mind and the body. Some people find this in, you know, just meditation, yoga, or, you know, just mindful insight, whatever you want to call it, you know, participating weekly to religious service, community, all of these people who had a positive attitude on life, positive attitude on their future, did much better with the same education uh, compared to people who adopted a more pessimistic view and Up to several years ago, we had this acronym FAST, and for the last couple of years, I see that we adopted a little bit uh, more complicated B FAST. B is for balance, so if you see somebody with balance issues, that's another sign of stroke. And E in the B is for the eyes. If, if any abnormal eye movements, if the eyes are disconjugated, they're not moving in a conjugate fashion, so together towards the target, or if, uh, if they lose vision, these are signs for posterior circulation, anterior circulation. Fast means, you know, if you notice any changes in the face, if it's any asymmetry of the face, um, uh, then arm, you ask the, the person to extend their arms and if, if there's any drift or any weak, obvious weakness on one of the arms, then it's a sign of a stroke. Uh, speech, S stands for speech, if the speech is slurred or if they have problems identifying words, uh, problem repeating a phrase. T stands for time. Probably the most important is time. Time is brain, is you know, our motto and something that we re keep repeating. Bring the suspected victim of a stroke immediately to the nearest emergency room where this process of diagnosing and treating starts.